Why? How come they? Well, your parents moved to Belfast. Well, because my dad got a job as okay, a so doctor there, okay, yeah, so and um, that's you know he applied. I think he applied for a job in the UK, and Belfast was the place okay. where he managed to get a job. And well, was yeah. it f was it for you now looking back on Georgia and, and Belfast? Was it um, strange growing up in such well places that well, I think when you left, I think there was a civil war just ending in Georgia. Yeah, it was. It was my reality, you know, you don't think this is strange, you okay. just, this is your life and you kind of get on with it. Um, I think only with hindsight you look back and you think, God, I had a really unusual, you know, background. Is the one thing that, that well, if you, if you look back, that, that comes into your mind, one example that looks a bit strange now, with the knowledge um, you have now? Well, there's quite a few things actually. Um, let me think. Okay, this is a funny story. I, um, when I was in kindergarten, I think I must have been about five or six years old. That I don't know. It's a very clear memory in my head. We, in this was I think during this time it was still communism, and uh, there was I mean communism was just bizarre. It's this kind of fakeness that was surrounding it. In kindergarten, all the toys were in the corner, all the good toys, and the kids weren't allowed to play with them. And uh, on inspection day, that was the best day because that's when all the toys we were allowed to play with the toys so that the inspection people didn't, you know, tell the teachers off or the principal off. Um, and it was bizarre, they only took it out on inspection day and when the inspectors left, we had to put all the toys back and we couldn't play with them. It was but, really sad actually. <laughs> but how come? How come? Why? Because they didn't want the, the they toys to be broken? Or? Yeah, they didn't want the toys to be broken. They didn't want the kids to play with the toys. You know, they were just there to be looked at. Okay. <laughs> Some sort of shrine or something. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And then inspection day was like, yes. Okay, that's good. Um, and does your father still have the chair you bought for him uh, with the 350 pounds that you won? Uh, I think, yeah, he does, actually. Was it, was it special? We've moved house now, um, and I think he bought it. It was, well, I just had some spare... Because the thing is, I did this competition and I won it, and I won a bedroom makeover. And instead of coming and painting my room, they gave me vouchers um, to a, a home store where you know where you buy furniture. So I went and I was really happy, and and I bought everything I needed. I had a pretty small room, so I you know I didn't need to get anything else. So I had some money spare, and yeah, my dad needed a um, he needed a like a cool computer chair, so I was like, I'll get it. Okay, that's good. Um, my last one or two questions. Um, how come um, the uh, Leonard Cohen song? Did you pick it or? Did yeah, you? I did actually. I'm a huge Leonard Cohen fan, and I've always tried Why? to sing. Why? Oh, he's just so amazing. He has lyrics that are just incredible. I mean, um, you know, there's kind of layers and layers to his music. You kind of have a first listen and then you, your ear catches something that's an interesting phrase or a thought and then you listen a bit more carefully and then it opens up the whole mood of the song a little bit more and then you listen even more carefully and you know it's revealed to you but only in your own life kind of how you associate with it um, that was a little how I felt when I sang in my secret life it's yeah. just an incredible song so what part made you open up a little bit more about well the, I am um, this, the sentiment of the song is the relationship between who you want to be and who you think you are compared with who you are in reality. Um, and why I loved the idea was the fact that when I was younger, I mean, I, I think, I suppose when we're all young, we have all these naive thoughts and ideals. Um, some of them were very naive, some of them were quite realistic. Um, so one of them was I didn't want to live in a materialistic world. I didn't want to live in a capitalist world where, you know, you, you sort of told to buy everything by advertising. Um, I didn't want to conform to a, a beauty that society dictates, you know, is fixed. Um, but then you grow up and you conform and, you know, but you do it because it's easy. And that kind of realization was what I kind of grasped in the song while singing it.